Hello there, and welcome back to my channel. Now, a few weeks ago, something quite strange happened. It all sort of fell into place almost too perfectly. It was slightly odd. It's almost like people are reading my mind. So, over the last couple of weeks, I've been feeling a bit nostalgic about the old thatching thing. And it made me think as well, like, this channel is called Thatcher Joe. And I wonder if I've still got the same audience I had back in the day. A lot of people have probably grown older, and maybe a lot of new people have come across to the channel. According to YouTube statistics, that is not true. Now, to any new people that have arrived on this channel, the reason why my channel is called this is, of course, because my old job was indeed a roof thatcher. Cue someone like Casper saying, Oh, Joe, you never mentioned this. You Any excuse to bring out the thatcher card and you, you do it. Shut up, Casper. So a couple of weeks ago, I went back to go and visit my uncle uh, and my auntie. Uh, and my uncle is the guy who taught me everything I know about roof thatching. Part of me really wanted to know if I could still remember how to do it. If you didn't know already, I'm a big believer in have your safety nets in place. By all means, push yourself to, to achieve whatever you want in life. But always make sure you've got your plan B sorted, just in case. But then bizarrely, I had an email come through from Clarence House slash the Prince's Foundation. And if you don't know what that is, the Prince's Foundation is a foundation set up by the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, which is all about helping people make the most out of their community by teaching them crafts like thatching, stonemasonry, milling, which I think is like when you make bread, like from the old like windmills type thing. Lots of different traditional crafts, and a lot of them are like dying crafts. Like they need people to do those jobs. It sounds really weird, we need to keep Britain looking old, you know what I mean? Like old fashioned and cute. And they were really interested in my story and wanted to meet me um, whilst they were going around the YouTube space in London on a royal visit. And of course, I said yes. I was a little bit nervous about not remembering anything and embarrassing myself in front of, you know, the, the Prince of Wales. But luckily the practice roof back in Wiltshire that my dad made for me was still there. Um, so I went back there to go and try and fresh up my skills before meeting the Prince and yeah, saving any embarrassment there. Right, I'm now in Wiltshire uh, at my uncle's house inside a polytunnel. And here it is. It's not changed since I last saw it. You may remember from ages ago the video I did where I was on this practice roof. You follow this, find where the baton is. I'd normally work a lot quicker than this. Gary said good, no, no you didn't. <laughs> this big kit here is called a leg it. You use it to pat, like tap up the straw. Like you can see here, you've got a little line here. Get that, Dad. See that? That's no good. So you've got that. Next step, you need to find my bill hook, which is this thing here. I need to cut this open. These things here are called spars, hazelwood spars. And the plan is, you've got to twist them. These ones have already been twisted. So what you do is you get that, you twist, and then it'll have like a spring, like you'll see, you'll see here. Look, it springs, which means you've done it right, because then when you put it into the straw, it wants to open up. And that's what holds it all in place, if that makes sense. But it's quite difficult. That's why I've got really strong forearms, I think, from do it, from twisting it. But see, I still remember how to do it. I thought that was my <laughs> There you go. That's good twist. That's a good twist. See? And you want to tap it on the roof like this. Get a nice little angle. The angle is very important. Like that, you wipe it off down there like that. You put it on. These are these are essentially like your straw tiles, if I remember correctly. You hold that. You move your reading pin to the right, and you got to you got to weave it like like you would tiles. So you go out of that, and up like that. Pull out a bit, tap it up. That'll do. Next bit. This is a temporary fix. This is just to hold it all in place before we put continue this um, steel rod along. You better explain that you are doing the easy bit, just straight for. Yeah, it's a good point actually. So the bit I'm actually doing is actually very, very easy. Um, it gets harder when you start it off. Basically, whenever you turn the straw, that's when it gets hard because... Yeah. Hip ends. Hip ends. What's that end called again? That's a barge board. Barge board, barge. And you've got a window on the other side that we've never ever got round to. Oh yeah. There's a window around there we're supposed to do. Which you made me build. Which, yeah, Dad had to build. We never quite got around to doing it. See what he's doing now. That's called wasting Gary's money by <laughs> all that straw that he's just throwing away. Yeah, but I'll put it there and then I'll then I'll re <laughs> I'll recomb it into the right. May not look it, but there's a lot to think about, a lot to concentrate on when doing this. Like when we're stopping for something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when can I go for a sleep in the truck? Here in the fridge. <laughs> so now you want to fix your roof down. First things first, you've got to find your baton. That's not an innuendo. How am I going to find your baton? You may ask. Well, I'm going to put this here. And just find the baton like so. No, that's uh, that's their attic. That's their attic. Found it. And there's your. Oh, no, I've lost it. So now I know that it's there. I can then take this, pop it on there like that. We're in. 
Now you screwed your your um, screw into the button. You now go through like this, like so. You hold it together and just like bend it slightly like that, and then you get your bag, pull. bag tie or bag pull, whatever you want to call it. Grab it like that, like that. Yeah. This is a new way of doing it. <laughs> See, you may think it's a very old tradition, but even trends in thatching have changed since I I was there because we, we I never did like this. It's changed. There's always new aspects of it. As you can see, from tying it to the to the old uh, batten, it changes the course again. It's got, oh, this is your best friend in thatching. This keeps it looking neat at all times. I thought I was your best friend. <laughs> Join us next week where you'll find out I how, I, how I get on battling the heat stroke. <laughs> when I used to work as a roof thatcher, I wasn't allowed to do so I had to just wait for it to rain and just hold my tongue out of that. I am here, you know. <laughs> what you can see out here. Not this, this is grass. Can't thatch a roof with grass, because I think that becomes hay. All this right here is my uncle's straw. He actually got his own field, uh, and he grows it himself now. And you can see, probably see right over there is an actual thatch roof. So you see like the start, the middle, and the end product over there in the distance. So I head off to London with a lot more confidence in what I was doing. I put on my best thatching shirt, I put on my best thatching jeans, which are full of holes still, and this is what happened. I'm now back in London. We've had an actual roof made in the YouTube space in London. But yeah, we're gonna uh, have a go at Thatching this roof here, they may be judged by uh, the Prince of Wales himself, Prince Charles, which should be quite fun. I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. So, as you can see over here, we have Lily putting on this course here. This is actually my opponent today. Um, we're, being, we're being judged, we're going head to head uh, to see who is the better roof thatcher. And Alan here is our teacher, slash master thatcher, who's gonna help us prepare ourselves for this. I'll add as well, I'm a stonemason, so we're... Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Lily's a stonemason, I'm now a YouTuber, so it's, it's all playful, it's an even even playing yeah. field. Byron, as a South African, what do you what do you make of it all? It's a bit of a fire hazard, if anything, <laughs> though. I mean, we get a bit hotter weather. I think it went uh, okay. Um, it was really good getting Alan's expert advice, to be honest, because um, I'm a bit of a novice just at thatching. Just copied in place um, with the but yeah, it's good fun. I'm so relieved that it's all come, like it's kind of come back. Yeah. I didn't just forget it all. Yeah. So I started at 16, finished about five years ago. And here he was. This is the moment that I met the Prince of Wales himself, Prince Charles. As you can probably see from my face, I'm pretty nervous. It's not every day you meet someone, someone like this. We discussed my whole journey about how I started off as a roof thatcher and then slowly moved into the YouTube space. And he's really intrigued to know about how I can use my platform and what I've got so far to help get the younger generation interested in these kind of trades, which for me, is a good thing. Now we tried to get Prince Charles to judge our thatching skills, but it turns out he was more interested in giving it a go himself. Oh, I see. And then when you get to the end, do gentle, just the gentle arm. Gentle Stop when you get flesh, that's my knees. <laughs> <laughs> now the idea that I had for this is it technically a meet and greet? I had like a little thatch off where she put a bit of coating work on and I continued it and he could then judge who he thought was a winner. And obviously he's such a lovely bloke, he could never pick sides and pick a winner. But it was so nice to meet him uh, and uh, Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. They were both really lovely. Fun little fact that I actually said to Camilla was she used to live very, very close to me. I think she still does, I don't know, back when I used to live back, back in Wiltshire. And when me and my uncle were actually on the roof, she used to walk past with her dogs and she used to wave, wave at us. I briefly mentioned it to her and she said, oh yes, I remember. I remember that you and your uncle, you did quite a lot around that area. But she remembered. She remembered me and my uncle. But it was an amazing experience. It was so great to meet them. And I thought it was such a great opportunity to try and showcase like what it is that I used to do. You guys know this, I'm very, very proud of, you know, doing an old old trade. And I don't know if it's ever crossed your minds about potentially getting into it or, you know, I don't know how many of you once thought, do you know what? I want to be a roof thatcher like Joe, Joe Sugg was or something, anything like that. I don't know if that's ever happened to you. If it has, then that's honestly like made my day. I just think it's very important to not forget these things because it's going to always need doing. Like I said before, it's part of our heritage. And I was finding out more about the Princess Foundation and I really like the idea that they had the, held like these sort of summer classes where they teach you not just like one thing. You learn a little bit of roof thatching, you learn a little bit of stone masonry, you learn a little bit of loads of different old, sort of old school trades. But also I noticed in there that was they, they taught you how to, how to make a business out of it as well. So it's not just teaching you the skill, it's also teaching you how to take that skill 
and properly turn it into a career for yourself. I just thought I would bring this to your attention um, as a video for this week, just because, you know, I'm really proud of it. And I want to help you a lot at home. If there's any of you at home that are struggling or panicking, I know a lot of you are probably going for exams at the moment, but if you're struggling to think or you're starting to panic about the next stage of your life, you know, one, don't panic. And I thought, you know, well, I love my old job. Um, maybe there's someone out there would also love to do this kind of thing, but just don't know how to get into it. I put two and two, I put one and one. Is it one and one or two and two? I should have learned maths rather than thatching. So I will leave links to everything down in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, thank you very much for the opportunity, Princess Foundation. And I will see you all very soon with another video. Cheers. Goodbye.